Hey there, it's me, Kirkrit C. Welcome back to another episode of Orwell. Hooray! I don't actually know if the next episode or not is out or not. Cause I've been I forgot to make note of the day that it was coming out. So hopefully it's coming out today. <clears throat> Hooray! It's coming out today. Hey! Okay. You're back again, just in time. We have need of you. Oh boy, already into it. You managed to prevent Robin Vart's provocation for being forever being published. For forever being published. A good effort, and one that brought us time bought us time. In order to take, take advantage of the situation, Prime Minister Blaine has shifted its schedule to fly out to Triflith and meet with Cassart to calm down the situation immediately. Robin Vart might have taken a severe blow, but he is far from giving up. Instead, he fired shots. See for yourself. Uh, what's on Karen's desktop? I want to change Karen's picture. I, I, I didn't mean to leave it on that one. How about, uh... That one? That one's her picture on the social media, right? <coughs> yeah, um... Oh, right! You can't find the thing that's on her desktop. I don't know what's up with that. All right. It's been a little bit. Uh... Browser data. Scooch up! I don't see what was updated here. Alright, I'll just get to the main story thing. Uh, home. Wait, 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 wait. What's, what's here? We got headlines there. Administration log. Alright, what's up with the administration log? Move contribution status from Ilya? Move contri- Oh boy. Contributor status from Daniel. Moved it from Sean. Oh boy. He's the only editor now. Headlines for what? What, what was the headline? Catastrophe at the mall. Beyond watch. <coughs> Reflects on last week's uh, called Citizens is So Courage in the Face of Terror. Yeah, whatever. Well, I guess I have to click on him. Okay. Okay. Come on. Next one. Okay. And there. Alright, I'm not actually interested in... God dang it, what else do I... Alright, this is People's Voice. Um... <clears throat> I am not afraid of you, and I will not go away. Is that the one that we left on last time? Manipulator's trying to attack me. Um, it must come as a surprise to you, but you aren't the only ones listening to me. Ah, yes, that is the one that we have seen. I guess this is the one that we're left off on. War is inevitable. Oh, boy. <coughs> They're out to discredit me and bring down what the People's Voice stands for, okay? I may have lost the battle, but the war is not over. We will fight back against the traitors Cassart and Blaine, who own this manipulative government apparatus designed to keep us under control. The government of the nation have dragged my family into the conflict, and I will not let them get away with this. I'm still here, and so is the people's voice. We are... We, and we are loud. That's a period. Good job, Robin. Uh, and we are loud. We have a strong group of supporters who are loyal and who will help us get back on track. Know thyself and know thy enemy. We will fight back a completely with a completely new people's voice, resonating a kind of strength never before seen. I hereby declare war on the government of the nation. I'm not sure that he's in a position to make legitimate uh, declarations of war, so I hope that that uh, that that Appleford or Ampleford, right, understands that that this is a figurative declaration of war. <coughs> war! Can you believe it? Who does this prick think he is, Agent? This has to end today. Vart can no longer undermine the peace in neither parties or the nation. If it's war he wants, we can accommodate him. We have our own arsenal, the likes of which Vart doesn't dare to dream about. When Orwell was created, the office requested a number of additional features beyond the day-to-day -day tasks of investigation. Some top-level government members obliged. 
Uh, they had the obnoxious idea to integrate the ethical codex into Orwell, limiting its capabilities. Naturally, this would not do for us. We are the nation's wardens, and we don't won't be restricted by some arbitrary set of rules. So, we found a way, as we always do, to develop a branch of the Orwell Project. Uh, the very piece of software you're using now. Time to make a, a use of its full potential. Oh, it's the influencer, dude! Hell yeah! I've been, I've been waiting for that. I wanna, I wanna suck up that other data, though. Um, there, the administration log here. Oh boy. <coughs> Could it be that our actions have caused a bit of trouble amongst the ranks of the people's voice? Good. What else? Discussion, I am not afraid of you. Robin, things are getting out of hand with the people's voice. All of those personal insults against you flying around on blabber and your spirited, no, spiteful articles. We're losing, we're long past the point of no return. We're no longer a group of journalists with thoughtful and considered rhetoric. Instead, it has become a mouthpiece for an egocentric maniac who declares war against governments. <laughs> I will not put up with this anymore. Uh, you are such a coward. You always have been. Now that we have, now that we finally see our influence growing and our voice being heard, that change is in the air. You just run off and quit. I should have known that you. Uh, I should have known when you signed on that. Wait, when you signed on that. Oh, when you signed on, that you weren't built to withstand the heat. Just another bag of air that chickens out whenever things start to get really interesting. Jesus. I'm pausing in inopportune places. Seriously, Robin? Insulting our staff? What kind of a leader are you? What kind of a journalist are you? You have a long... You have long stopped uncovering the so-called truth. You have turned into a liar and a puppeteer yourself. You are no better than Cassart or Blaine, or the others that keep criticizing. Count me out. I'm done. I will not put up with this. Grow a backbone, you cowards. Don't worry. I'll take away your contributor status. I don't need you anyway. If you're not willing to go all the way with me... Ooh. Robin, slow down now. You didn't even buy him coffee. You are against me. <coughs> You've been in my way for far too long anyway. All right, now to look at the neat new feature. Behold the influencer, the centerpiece of our very own version of Orwell. Not even the government has a clue this thing exists yet. Is this what I can leak on Perk? Ooh, boy. Ooh. You can spread a story through social media channels effectively, no, efficiently and thoroughly. I'm putting you in charge of it. First, we need a thesis, a key statement which Robin made his last article, narrative. Oh my god! I can just set up narratives? Narratives? Okay, so thesis what? Is there new things I can drag now? War is inevitable. Government of the nation has dragged my family into this conflict. Okay. That's a new one, so I imagine it has something to do with the story. The government! Dragging his family into the conflict? They should have clearly opposed Robin's actions and nothing would have happened. Well, we will counteract this claim accordingly. Let me set that in the influencer. The government has willfully dragged Robin Vard's family into the conflict. Alright. <coughs> Here's how this works. We can't simply make up and randomly spread stuff. Instead, I need you to get the palpable information which we can which can be used to counter Robin's statement. From pairs of data chunks that create a certain context together, I can construct a narrative which we can spread in the influence. Oh my god. So find me data chunks to construct a narrative from. Uh, with these set in the influencer, new data chunks may be discovered in old documents? Ilyavart, his police records. <clears throat> what a great portrait. Poor Ilya, man. Oh, I feel so bad, dude. Suspect was found in the living room with his phone in hand, just having spoken to his brother. 
Oh, come on, no. Oh, I can't. Not Ilya. Oh. I can't, man. <laughs> Suspect was then cooperative with officers and did not resist nor question the reasons for his arrest. <clears throat> Alright, what else do we have here? Uh, link somewhere. Um, users. God, fuck. It's so hard to reach the scroll thing. Drafts? No? What, 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 what do we have here? Well, what are we missing? I'm not afraid of you. There's a link here. Daniel, Robin... No, uh... Ah, okay. <coughs> You're not willing to go all the way with me or against me. Evidence of the... Eh, I don't know. Let me go check out what else we might have. Uh, anything on the... No, of course not. Um, Bart Ilya. Ilya Bart. Ah, there's disabled stuff. All right. More data chunks here, or just the old picture? <coughs> just the old picture. Why doesn't he have a? Why doesn't he have a, have a have a missing day for today, huh? Uh, whatever. Uh. All right. What about the uh, insider here? Any any updates here? Any any more interesting things? Oh, poor Ilya. I wish I wish we knew what was going on with this 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 one star here. All right, okay, I don't have any any possible narratives. I ha I guess I have to go get uh, one of these things. Um, I believe the other editors of the People's Voice to be his enemies. I guess. Rabban is becoming more and more unhinged, sensing betrayal around every corner. Yes, we can use that, but not enough on its own. We need a good context to put this into. Okay. Well, I mean, literally the only other thing I have is that his brother was on the phone with him. So, whoop-dee-dee, whoop-dee-doo. Here comes Ilya. Sorry, dude. Oh, wrong profile. Uh... Oh, what am I gonna do to Ilya? There is a remarkable sense of timing there. These circumstances might play into our hands. Together with Robin firing his brother as well as one, uh, as well, one might think that he wanted to get rid of him, don't you think? Let me compose a story from what we've got. <coughs> Agent, the first narrative is ready to be put through the influencer. To do so, drag it into the slot uh, using the influencer is extensive and takes about an hour of time? Aw, oh, man. You'll only get very limited chances of spreading narratives today. Make sure they count. However, I should probably warn you. What's out there is out there forever, and information can be a most devastating weapon. Now, if you do the honors... Did Robin Vart sell his brother Ilya to the cops to get rid of him? Co-editors state, Vart has seen us as enemies. <laughs> what is that, dude? You're just gonna, like... That's a news headline. You're just gonna put a, a news headline on Twitter and then magically make it viral and nobody's gonna suspect anything? You're just gonna think you can get away with that. Holy do I understand how social media works. Let's spread that around. Nobody's gonna- people- everyone's gonna think that's a real person saying that. And not the government. Oh, it takes a whole- uh, I thought it would, like, take an hour and I could do things in the background. Oh, shit, dude, that's another level of time management right there. What, what do we got? Why were you on the phone with Ilya when he was arrested? Did you sell him out to the cops because he was in your way? Oh, no. <clears throat> oh. 
person information is spread by your command alone. It's a beautiful thing. The destruction of truth. Oh, come on, Ampleford. Why you gotta word it like that? Oh, isn't it? I believe we pulled the right strings here. People have swallowed the bait, as you can see on Blabber. Uh, we had some good impact on the listener counts. I've no doubt Robin won't let us go so easily. <clears throat> won't let go so easily. I won't be surprised to see an appropriate response from him soon. Perhaps you can find out what he is up to before he is actually publishing it, so we can prepare our narrative beforehand. Destroy the media monsters! We will always fight back! In the dark caves of the Endless Information Network they lurk, out to, uh, out to get any in innocent victims standing in their way. As for now, as from now I can... Uh, I shall call them the Media Monsters. The government apparatus designed to control our minds. These awful creatures, who cannot be considered humans, are again trying to damage my family members in order to get to me. They cannot tear us apart. Believes his family to be loyal to him. Uh, I'm going to see what else. Uh, I could have sworn I saw an update down, down south a little. Eh, apparently not. <coughs> anything uh, Anything in his internet history here? Aw. Uh, makes me sad to see Ilya and Oleg's phone be off. Because, I mean, Ilya's pretty much dead now. Because, <laughs> I mean, Oleg's phone's off. Ilya's phone's off. Same thing. Oh, that's his PC, not his phone, dummy. Alright. You know, this is still kind of a pretty suspicious picture. <coughs> pretty suspicious, dude. <coughs> oh, fuck, sorry. Oh, man. Alright, I guess this is the only thing I can suck in. Alright, let's see what we can do about that. I have a job to do, and that job is to blatantly deconstruct the truth. His family is loyal to him. Oh, please. I wonder if Robin himself believes that, what he writes here. <coughs> In any case, let's see if we can shake that feeling of loyalty a bit to prove Robin wrong, for himself and for the public. Agent, get me pairs of data chunks from which I can construct narratives that we can spread. Pay attention to anything that might... Uh, we might use to put Ilya or Karen's loyalty to him in doubt. Oh, boy. Robin Vart's family has always been loyal to him and will remain. Oh. I mean, I received a little hint that maybe uh, Karen and and uh, Ilya are cheating with each other. Which, I mean, they did have a weird phone call. <clears throat> Why can I only access her PC now? What the fuck, dude? Oh, tune in. Karen, you left early and without a word. Is everything all right? No, nothing is all right. What's this I hear about Ilya being arrested? Is that true? I fear it is. Apparently, he stole goods from that company he worked for, Watergate Farmer. God, so it is true. What is? There's a rumor that you were talking to him at the time of his arrest. How else would you know? Yes, I was talking to him. He asked me to help him. The police got to him before I could do anything. Now, that's very convenient, isn't it? Are you saying I had a hand <laughs> in his arrest? Why would I even <coughs> oh, consider arresting my brother? You've disregarded Ilya far too many times since you left the encampment. You wanted to get rid of him as an editor for your stupid blog for a long time. You were constantly lecturing him, belittling him, even though he's done nothing but support you. There's always been something between you two, and I've never understood why you always feel so superior to him. Don't be ridiculous. He is my brother, and we have been through the darkest of times together. That is why he called me yesterday, because he trusts me most of all people. His arrest is a consequence of Ilya's thoughtless actions, and the rightful one at that. I can't believe you just said that. Is it not true? You never deserve to support. Never. I've got to go. Is <laughs> it not true, Karen? <laughs> oh boy. You know how to talk to your wife, dude. <laughs> <coughs> oh man, I hope I'm not getting sick again. 
Hey, your computer. What the fuck kind of computer? Literally two folders in the trash. Private. Sig Protocol Robin. <clears throat> hey, lovely man. How are you today? Hey, smiley face. Not so good. What happened? I stood in the lunch line for one and a half hours, then there was nothing but bread left. You know how I'm on not all fussy about food, but after not having had any lunch for the past two days, it stresses me out. The guy in the food handout told me to fuck off and I didn't like it. <coughs> oh my god. I have no idea how you stay so calm. It makes me furious even hearing about it. Uh, I would have exploded a long time ago if the guy in the office had talked to me like that, I would get him fired. You know you can't compare to a place uh, compare this place to an office canteen. <clears throat> I know it's just uh, how do you is it even legal to treat people like that? Calm down, love. I don't mind people being assholes. They're just stressed themselves. What really bugs me is nobody really gives a shit about anyone here. Everyone is just trying to get by without being hungry or tired. Day by day you hang in there. I love how you oh, want to help me, but uh, but please stop saying that, it makes me uncomfortable! Oh, you're, you're the real hero to others and me. You're far too modest. You should be proud of what you've done. Oh. By the way, I picked a location. I think we could have a beautiful wedding ceremony at Bonton Park. I mean, if I drag that into Karen, I can go onto her picture thing and see if we... Can get any pictures out of it. I'll, I'll keep it. And then there's this that conflicts with something. Wait, excuse me. What was it? What exactly? Is in love with Robin Vart. Is the con conflict. <coughs> oh man. Am I gonna decide her love life? Case report number. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, October 10th. Uh, Bonton Reader. Karen Levine. Robin Vart. Right. Uh, patient was initially very unresponsive and reclusive, even during therapy, they behaved reclusively and apathetically in refugee camp. Or in the summer of 2012, became happier. He seemed to become more outgoing and happier, talk more. Conversations are superficial. <clears throat> Strongly recommend to extend his therapy and keep him under close observation. Oh! Karen? Ah, oh, it's probably a lie to be able to spend more time with them. Trish! Beautiful dude boo Well, what do we have a picture here? What do we mean? Dewhurst's classical style town hall built in 1780. Definitely worth seeing. Cuisine nation's more multicultural city. Alright, what, what else are we missing here? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me again. Thanks, 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 thanks for leaving the, the star there. Yeah, just, you know, whatever. Administration log. Banned access from... I already have his phone, don't I? No, I have his PC. Wrong profile. Alright, here's where I figure out that they're cheating on with each other. <coughs> I imagine there was a chance to uncover that in the last one. Ilya's phone. Hmm. He was carrying it around at the time of his uh, arrest. He was not cooperative on giving us access. I guess we have it now anyway. <clears throat> oh! Ilya! Ilya, you dog! Have a picture of your brother's wife in your phone? You don't think he's gonna see that eventually, maybe? Alright, Levine... Levine Vart Karen. Well, there's Karen's phone. Wait, I have Karen's phone already done. Uh, I guess not. Oh, I have her work phone. I think. Alright. Contacts. Uh, notes. Uh, ask Uncle Simos about Captain Ilya Janeway. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's real. I don't think there's really a Captain... Captain Ilya Janeway. I'm going to disable that one. Alright, e-ticket. Your e-ticket wallet is empty. Okay. 
tracking disabled. Location unknown. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Probably could have done that last time. Alright, Sky Chat. Hey, you. Hey, what's up? Uh, website I set up for you. Yeah, I'll go to. I guess I totally forgot to even. How about catching up for a coffee sometime? Uh, come on, Ilya. It's the least I can do. Uh, well, I can't say no then. Round of HLB. Oh, dude. Is she. Is she. Hmm. Did I ever try to put Karen's name into the HLB website? Hold on. Where's that boy? Where's that bad boy? Where's that bad, 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 bad boy? Where's the HOB bad boy? <clears throat> uh, his profile. Karen Bart. Oh, apparently not. Whatever. Okay, um. Ilya not here, okay? Okay. Oh! Because Ilya's being able to see. Oh, fuck. God, I'm so sick of this place. How do you keep the, this? I'm holding on to my dreams. You know, one day I'm getting out of here. I can feel it. Uh, truth be told, I often dream about quitting. And not just quitting, but getting away from my brother. <coughs> oh, man. Blue hair, what are you thinking? Uh is that dude okay don't know who Cassandra is Cassandra oh wait you have a chat here uh, yeah data sh I'm gonna keep that one uh, and again Karen's computer okay all right anything else I'm missing Ilya Vart what are, what are we missing here you have a data chunk you have a data chunk that we're missing. What is it? Hmm. <coughs> Are you sure? Or is that the disabled one? No, that's not disabled. What am I missing? No. No, like, that was a problem I was having last time, too, wasn't it? Alright. Okay. Um. And there's this. There's apparently something here, too. That I can't find. Good system! Very good system! Oh, uh. What do we have here? His breast is a consequence of his own thoughtlessness. A rightful one of that. Believes he deserved his rest. I'm gonna go drag that on in here. <coughs> Loyalty is a fickle thing. It needs to go both ways. The little Delia Vart since they left the encampment. All right. Let me look for something else for now. Uh. All right. And what was the one here? I dream about getting away from my brother. What was the one I disabled here? Uncle Simos. Uncle Simos. Alright, I want, I want, I want, like, proof that they're, that they're hanging out. Wedding ceremony. Yes, okay. I got a good idea. Don't worry about an ample verb. Picturesque. Maybe you can find a, yep, maybe I can find a photo somewhere. That's exactly what I was thinking. What's the headlines? Uh, Blaine cancels meeting for a surprise visit in Triflith. Ha ha! What a wonderful man! Our Prime Minister, President, President Man, Big Brother. <coughs> Where's the uh, pictures at? Sorry if uh, the scrolling is lagging my recording. There we go. Karen's album. Ponton City Park. There's a wedding picture. But if our marriage has brought any good, Robin and Ilya finally don't have to endure that awful camp any longer. He was allowed to leave the refugee camp after his marriage with Karen. He was allowed to, uh, after his brother was married to Karen. Uh, I don't know, is that relevant to my specific investigation here? Um. 
Um, where's Ilya's? Where's 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 Ilya's address? Let me see if I can get Ilya's address in here. Never looked for Ilya's place. No, I probably did. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh well. I want proof that they're cheating with each other. I guess, I guess that would be important information. Uh, I guess. Permanent residency and granted by certain family member members. Questionable thing, if you ask me, especially if the circumstances that uh, that marriage appear shady. All right. Okay. And a blood fan club. Nope. Can I, like, put... Oh, Mary P. Okay, I was suggested that I should put Mary's P, Mary P's name into the... Into the Hand of Blood fan club. Uh... Whoop. Where's his contacts? Damn good coffee. Uh... No... Uh, physique. Uh, background. How is work, work? Oh, okay. Doesn't like, do, doesn't like Watergate Pharmacy is part of his personality apparently. Activities, aliases, accounts, contacts. <clears throat> where's uh, where's Mary P's name? Hmm. Hmm. Where's Mary P? Why can't I put Mary P's name in? I want to drag Mary P. Mary P, there we go. Who is Mary P? Karen? Why can't I drag that? Whatever. Well, I guess we'll go for a different narrative since I can't drag that one. Alright, so narrative, uh, Robin, Ro Robin hates his brother. Robin just fucking hates his brother! Do I got any influences? Nope. Um, wish I could find what conflicts with I love you. Alright, uh, patient number, patient was very... Inclusive. Let's get that information in here. He was he's antisocial, dude. Related document found. Considering the trauma he endured, uh what what related document, dude? Critical discussion arrival. Uh Karen fancies me. She doesn't like me one bit. <laughs> Not sincerely affected to me. Ah, uh, I know you liked our therapist. Uh, you know, I also look forward to seeing the sessions with Karen like, every week. Lucky you! The way she always talks about you. She seems to fancy you. She always treats me like a child. Ilya, stop it. Our situation in this camp is terrible and we are be all being treated like animals. Yet all you can talk about is your dumb crush on a therapist. Karen fancies me. She doesn't like me one bit. She doesn't like you one bit. It's her job to be nice, and she gets paid for it. So snap out of your daydreams. <coughs> Do you realize we have no uh, we have no way to get out of this shithole and live a no Why are you talking about this on 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 an article? What the fuck, dude? To find a way to escape this place, tended to escape the refugee at any cost. All right. That's definitely a narrative. Married his wife to get out. The fact that Robin was able to leave the camp through marrying Karen screams sham marriage to you? Well, soon it might do just that for everybody else, too. All right, that's one. I'll go, uh... Now we possess one narrative we can spit. However, we can only hit Robin after he's published his next article. We'll need to bide our time for the moment. Well, doesn't it take, like, an hour? 
Use that time to dig for more narratives. Give me everything that could be of use. Karen, Karen, Karen doesn't love him. Karen, don't love him. We're we're not. We're we're well past the point of telling the truth. Their love is but a fake. How sad. It's missing a piece to let Robin really doubt her motivation, though. I want it to... Ilya, dude. Ilya, playing cards with her, dude. Blatantly telling him not to talk at, on, on the phone. Send therapy. How awfully caring of her. Or maybe not. Considering she didn't even like him, and she intended to observe him, we might be able to get Robin to doubt Karen's motives. So, how does that sound? Very good. Hashtag fake marriage. Karen, wife of Robin Vart, admits, I married Robin because I wanted to observe him. He was very unstable. Yes, Karen, wife of Robin Vart, admits such. How Robin Vart of the People's Voice planned his escape from the refugee camp by seducing their therapist. Alright. You uh, you've discredited Ilya for too many years. Alright. Go ahead and do that one, I guess. Aw. Oh, hey, no, that's that's for Robin. Well, no, no, no. Don't get careless. See what else I have. See what else. Um... Please allow me to drag Karen. Okay, so he's dating Mary P. And when he played Mary P., Mary P got a match trophy for for Karen. <sighs> Do we have any other addresses? Activities, April, April, Rowland Oak Street, ATM. Oak Street? No. Army Supplies. Card Game Tournament. Card Game Tournament win. That's a good location. Alright, Watergate Pharma. Nope. I already tried that one. Bonton Reception is a people's voice. Uh, Alright. <coughs> Any locations here? Molly. World Peace, Yoga, Montan City Park. Already got a picture of there. Uh... Alright. Alright. Uh... I guess I'll drag that one in there. Maybe maybe uh, Ampleford could get some use out of it. <coughs> Perhaps a past and direct transgression we don't yet know about. We could use this to put Ilya's loyalty into question, but first we need to know something more concise. I want to tell her that they're cheating, dude! What a butt booty. Is there anything else? There's nothing else. Summer 2012, sudden change, what happened in 2012? Alright, that's the only thing I have left, so... Roman got better all of a sudden. Something important must have happened at that time. I don't know! I don't know, that's the last thing I could have dragged in here. What are these stars? I don't know. Trash. Beautiful Dewhurst. What about... What about Ilya? Cassandra. Truth be told, I often dream about quitting. <coughs> Now 
Not surprising with a brother like that, especially if he got belittled by Robin all the time. This would make for a fine story. Give me a moment. Man, Hempelford, you fast, dude. Robin published his article. We can strike now. Remember, you are still able to dig for more narratives. So you may want to wait before spreading anything. As soon as you're ready, we'll spread the narrative that seems most promising to you and the influencer. Uh, what do we have? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Noom. Pending article draft. And media monsters have no chance against us. We will always fight back. Ah. I will not let them destroy my family. <coughs> my brother is and always will be on my side. Ouch, ouch, my knee. In the dark caves of the Endless Information Network, they lurk to get any innocent victims standing in their way. As from now, I shall call them the Media Monsters, the government apparatus designed to control our minds. These awful creatures, who cannot be considered human, are again trying to damage my family members in order to get to me. They claim I am not... I am to blame for the fact my brother is in jail, though it was their fault he ended up in there. Yes, it is true that I was talking to him on the phone before he was arrested. But all this proves is that I was fighting on his side in order to help him get out of this horrible, unfair situation. Of course, Bonton Police Department is always happy to arrest immigrants at first glance or a suspicion that they might be involved in any illegal activity. My brother did nothing wrong, and I, he will always stay loyal to me. They cannot tear us apart. My family members will remain loyal to me as they... Why are you publishing this, though? Why are you publishing... Shouldn't this be more like a Twitter post or something? You know, well, you only got a certain number of characters there. So what's the other star? What's the other star here? We're missing something. The fist? Is that, what, what's the star? What's the star? Come on. Is this it? What's the, what the fuck? So, okay, where is inevitable? Is that it? Yep, that's it. Alright, anything else? <sighs> Yeah, there's so much stuff that I'm missing, probably. Mary P., come on. Give me something. <coughs> Can't believe we're doing this thing and all. What can I say? I haven't stopped thinking about that magical evening we had the other week at the hotel. I haven't either. The, oh, this has a whole different meaning. This has a whole different meaning, meaning now. Calm down, Ilya. Everything is going to be alright. Nothing bad will come our way, I'm sure of it. Uh, my brother's reach seems to grow stronger and stronger each day. As to his crackback theories, I can't even make a goddamn piss. Well, perhaps a bit more distance between you and him could be helpful. You told me you haven't been writing articles for him. Hmm. Uh... I want to confirm that. Fuck, dude. I want to confirm it! There's these stars on their desktop still. Not sure what it is, but... <sighs> and then there's something here. Somewhere. 
that is invisible. Ah. <sighs> well, I guess I just have these three. Uh, a Robin of the People's Voice planned to escape from the refugee, including seducing his wife. Um, I married Robin because I wanted to observe him. Um, wanted to get away from the blog and his abusive brother for a long time. So, possible narratives to spread when you were done. Spread a narrative that counter Robin's article. The sphere weather were in Bantan. Sphere weather. If the facts don't fit the theory, change the facts. Misattributed. Misattribute. Mis. Misattributed to Albert Einstein. Come on. Come on. Get out of here now. Get, get out. There we go. Um. <coughs> Traitor of the people. Ilya Vart, editor at The People's Voice, wanted to get away from his blog and the brother on his abusive brother for a long time. Or, uh, I married Robin because I wanted to observe him. He was very unstable. Uh, and, uh, I guess that one, you know, make him seem unstable. Fake marriage. Karen, wife of Robin Vart, admits, I married Robin because I wanted to observe him. He was... I don't know. Because Karen can just deny that. I guess I'll do the, run the one about his brother wanting to get away. Yeah, yeah. I think after this I might end the episode because I don't want to, like, run through the whole thing before I, the next episode has a chance to get out. So your brother wants to leave? The coward wrote... Oh. Oh. Happy with what you've achieved? I'm a bit skeptical whether your attack on Robin's brother was a good way to go, considering he's in custody. It didn't cost him too many followers. Aw, oh, fuck. Robin has taken a blow, but he's not going down yet. Speaking of which, let's check out what- Aw, oh, god dang it. God dang it. What a doof. So your brother wants to leave? The coward broke as bad as you, Robin. Only worse. Traitor of the people. Uh, if anything's hilarious, it- uh, big conspiracy the media are trying to distract you from the truth Blaine and Cassart are conspiring against us why is the focus attention not on uh... can I spread another one cough oh, fuck god dang it I blundered I blandered blunder gander 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 Blaine and Cassart are conspiring against us uh... Why is it the focus of attention not on one of the most pressing and obvious issues? It is not curious. Is it not curious that during the national crisis like this, while Bonton is threatened by terrorists, the prime minister is leaving the country? Is it not weird that he is meeting Cassard, who is throwing him a military parade party, supposedly due to a negotiation meeting? The answer is this is bullshit. Negotiation is not what the national government wants. They want power. Uh, this is what you should be really worried about, you mindless idiots. Oh yeah, just call everybody idiots, dude. That'll get them on your side. I'm the idiot, dude. Falling back into old habits, are we? Bart is trying to shift the attention of Blaine and Cassard meeting off of a one-of-a-kind opportunity for him to get back to his conspiracy theories. Uh, reports say that there are already people gathering in front of the presidential palace where the two are meeting, attempting to stall the talks, talks, in the name of the people's voice. We cannot let him do, uh, can't let this claim go unchecked or our situation might escalate. Not on our watch. If he's to get into conspiracies and hidden agendas, how about us playing the same game? I'm certain you can get enough information to let me construct our own little conspiracy theory. Keep in mind, we have to hit Robin Barts this time very hard. 
We must break his followers' base. <sighs> Why am I on Ilya's timeline again? Uh, what the hell, Ilya? There are rumors on the internet that you want to leave the People's Voice in Robin. This is just like back in Pargay's when you Pargay when you wanted to, when you got your poor parents and Anastasia and Milovan in trouble. You're nothing but a dirty traitor, Ilya. Is that true, Ilya? I must say, I'm disappointed. He used to be the great, uh, uh, to be a great author of the People's Voice. Okay, well. That's literally the only thing I have, but I'm gonna go ahead and save that for a while, because I've been recording for 50 minutes. Uh, I figure I'm halfway through this episode, probably, so. Gonna go ahead and uh, get going. I'm sorry. Bop!